The reason I placed film Red Shanks at number 10 is only because of the current era, I still believe he has one of the most broken traits in the whole game, which makes him deadly even now, in skilled player hands, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about film Red Shanks on number 10 position. Lunarian Albert got 9th place only because it requires skills to play this character, as a player has to continuously perform perfect dodges to maintain his invincibility, and many people struggle to get perfect dodges. That is the sole reason why it was placed at 9th position, though he is very deadly in skilled hands.
The only reason that Seraphim Hawk was placed at 8th position is because he can gain invincibility just by attacking enemy with his third normal attack, which even a non-skilled player can do. Though, personally, I will still prefer Albert over S-Hawk, but generally S-Hawk is better for most of the players. Yes. 
Kalgara is one of the most dangerous attackers in this game. His both skills nullifies damage reduction, and 75% attack stats stack on top of that. Kalgara is a character where you should have the patience until your attack is stacked, then Kalgara can one-shot anyone, though Kamusari Shanks just completely destroy him. Because of only this reason, Kalgara was placed at number 7. Pacifist Akuma is placed at number 6, only because he has a shield, 
which he can continue to recover through his normals, which makes him very deadly. As his both skills nullify obstacle with 75% attack stat stack. Dory the Blue is the most recent giant character with a perfect guard mechanics, though his skill 1 hits like a truck, as his skill 1 nullifies damage reduction and makes him very tanky while Dory is holding his skill 1, gaining him the position of number 5th in top 10 attackers. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Ace and Yamato are placed at number 4, as they both can spam their skills one after other. By continuously spamming their skills and each skill hit like a truck, one-shotting everyone with each skill with 75% attack stack. <laughs> Yeah. 
After much consideration, I decided to give number 3 position to Rob Luigi, but in attacker form, as an attacker form, he is very tanky and also the crazy HP recovery with his multi-hit. Normal attacks makes him very hard to kill. And also remember his normal attacks nullifies defense stats, making defense stack defenders useless. We all know why Jabra is placed at number 2, 
and even by now you would have guessed who is number one attacker in this list. But for now, the reason for placing Jabra at number two position is because of his crazy skill too, which can annihilate anyone in this game, and also, he is very tanky attacker on top of that. The first place in top 10 best attacker in this game goes to the one and only, the real king of pirates, Gold D. Roger, which after buffs is the incarnation of destruction, spamming Kamasari everywhere, one-shotting anyone in this way, who knows no boundary, getting 10 kills with him feels like just a normal match. Even when I am playing Gold Roger, I feel bad for the enemy in front of me other than Roger and Shanks itself. As I know he will get kamusari soon enough, Gold Roger is like an inevitable catastrophe which will happen sooner or later, but no one can do anything to stop it. <laughs>